Now, this weekend, we did see a few showers coming by, but also there was a, some cooling relief with a bit of a breeze as well. Right now, across the Caribbean, there are no tropical cyclones to speak about, but we did tell you last week of the fact that La Nina is officially here. That phenomenon out in the Pacific tends to bring a cooler and wetter conditions for the Caribbean, particularly the southern Windward Islands and down towards the Southern America. So Venezuela, as well as Trinidad and Tobago and Ghana, do tend to see more rainfall. But right now, across the Ghanas, we do have the ITZ that's down towards the south, out towards Suriname and the and parts of uh, French Ghana. But for the most part, some of that moisture may begin to push its way in to uh, south southern Windward Islands. So we could be seeing a bit more in terms of some cloudiness and some showers, especially across parts of Trinidad. For Tobago, you see more cloudiness than you will see those showers. But nevertheless, you will see some damp spots as you go through your mid-morning and into the afternoon. There's a slight chance of a shower turning heavy. Down towards uh, Trinidad, along the south coast, throughout the night, watch for the clouds to build going into the early part of the morning. A scattering of showers, for the most part, coming through fairly brief. But once you get into the morning and the daytime heating gets going, you will find all of that moisture piling up along the northern range. A scattering of showers will start to dot the hillsides there, bringing you some damp spots through mid-morning and then into the afternoon. Down towards the south coast, you will see those showers, possibly from around the dawn, pushing all the way across through 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, through Rio Clara, out towards San Fernando. The cloudiness will be there. The showers as well will be coming and going. And along the western coastline, possibility of a shower turning heavy. Temperature-wise, those we're looking at a mild night, 25 degrees Celsius. They're looking for a high in Tobago of 32, in Trinidad 33. And we'll continue to keep conditions on the fair side through Tobago on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You notice there's still a few showers are coming by, but they're not set to be thundery or heavy. There's only a slight chance of that. Of course, in Trinidad, a lot of that moisture from the ITCZ will continue to linger across us. And obviously, with the daytime, we could be seeing just a slight chance of a thunder shower over western areas. Now, for those who are looking to escape to the beaches, it's one and a half through the Caribbean, two meters further out in the Atlantic. Those short east northeasterly swells for boaters, however, they may become a bit more northerly as we go through late on Tuesday and into Wednesday. So we'll be mindful of that. Now, the Caribbean has indeed been seeing quite a lot of moisture, particularly for the Dominican Republic, Haiti, as well as Jamaica. They'll continue to see a lot of the cloudiness and the showers prevailing. A lot of the showers as well tied in to a descending front, and it will mix in with the warm air. And obviously, wherever they meet, they will see the possibility of some heavier bursts. So looking at rain then for Kingston, only managing 31 degrees Celsius, 32 with some thunder for Port-au-Prince, and Havana seeing the best of the sunshine and a high of 28 degrees Celsius. Now, the Lesser Antilles is under high pressure, so that means uh, that the sinking air will put a cap on most of the showers. Only across the hillsides, likely around the Dominica and St. Lucia, will you see most of the concentrated showers there. Down towards uh, Ghana on the mainland, there's a possibility of an afternoon thunder shower coming through with a possibility of a sea breeze pushing in as we go through the next uh, few days. And that will continue as we go for much of our Ghana, at least until Tuesday and through Wednesday. So that's your weather, and that's it from me.